Hello, welcome back to Rome to Total War. It is 165 BC. We are Macedon. We have a fairly large empire now, and it's been about seven years, I believe, since the last episode. I think it was that was in 172 BC. Plenty has changed, and I'm going to catch you all up on just briefly what's going on. The garrison armies, I'm trying to upgrade them a little bit, a little at a time, like replace the slingers and get, uh, replace the levy pikemen with regular pikemen as, as, as I can, as, as, uh, money permits, but we do have plenty of money. The Axe of Hercules, uh, you know, yeah, I need to upgrade their horse here. I don't remember if I had to upgrade the archers. Um, I believe so. I think they all have pikemen now. And they're going to run with like 17 units, I think, is enough. Those are the two garrison armies um, that uh, have the Greek families as leaders. There's um, Eutychus here. I put Eutychus in charge of the Carthage area. And this is his army. It looks, I think it's complete. They're going to run with 17 as well, 17 units. Another army right here is the Titans under the command of... Aristeus. He's also part of the Antigonid dynasty. The next army is the Titans, led by Aristeus, and they also have 17 units, a garrison army, and I think they're pretty much ready to go. They're going to be operating in the Libyan area, North Africa area. Now, this is where things have changed. I have four armies down here. Uh, first one led by the Arbacilius Aristocles. This is what they're going to look like. Not a whole lot of change. Basically, I have Thorax Pikemen down here now. Well, not all Thorax Pikemen. I'm still in the middle of trying to replace them all, but I didn't want to replace these rank 5 units. Not yet. Two Thorax Swordsmen, uh, four Hoplites, some Citizen Cavalry, and five Archers. And the Hero. Now, backing them up is going to be these armies. This is the Centaurs, led by Ezekias. This army is composed of Ezekias with his companion cavalry. And I've replaced all of the, the, the smaller... I don't remember the name of the, the cavalry. They are... The, um, the Sarissa cavalry are now all Thessalian cavalry, which are a little stronger than the Sarissa Cavalry. They're basically a, a an army of backups. So they're going to have a couple pikemen, a couple thorax swords, well, four swordsmen, a couple hoplites. We have Greek ballistas now and a couple of archers. So they will follow the main army around and borrow units from them as they need. So if they need more cavalry, they got them. If they need more pikemen, swordsmen, archers, they got them. And I also have, of course, ballistas for when I run across walled settlements. We have the same thing over here. This is probably the Spears of Ares is probably my most powerful army right now. As you can see, it's led by Perseus. He's a five star. And look at the experience of the archers. They're all rank seven archers, except for this one. Uh, same unit composition as, as the Thunderbolts of Zeus. And then behind them is the Daemons of Polymos. Led by Pericles, same composition as the Centaurs. Bunch of Thurisan cavalry for if we do catch a battle out in the open, we can use them. If we do need more swords for for attacking walled settlements, we have them. Same thing with the ballistas. If we need more archers, we have them. It's it, I can't wait to start using them. We're going to be going against Egypt. Egypt has already moved forces into my territory and back. Uh, and and this one is sitting out in the middle of the desert, dying. I, I don't know why. I'm not sure what's going on there. I've been looking around. I have my spy here, and I have a couple of... Uh, I have uh, my uh, noble over here. They're basically kind of looking around spying. We have one right here, just taking a look. I think they're engaged in stealing income, and this one's engaged in... Stealing food, and I'm thinking about stopping doing that because it's really having a devastating effect on, on these, on the uh, the enemy armies, and I'm I feel that I'm not going to get any good battles if I keep doing this, so I might just use them as scouts, 
uh, from now on. We do have something here that came up. I want to take a look and see what this is all about. Oh, it's some some guy here who's causing trouble. One of your magistrates is complaining off with his head. <laughs> He's complaining about the deteriorating quality of wine in his province. He claims even barbarians would refuse to drink it. And the populace is annoyed. Okay, so we can introduce wine standards or do... Let's do that. Let's, I don't know how much that would cost, but we've got plenty of money. That should make the problem go away. So, uh, navies. Navies. Also, over here, we've been trying to do some more exploring. All of my navies are led by Greek family admirals. And I'm just basically going up the coast, trying to find... Uh, civilizations to trade with. This one looks like I might be able to trade with them. Let's take a look. Who are they? They're the Lusitani? Right here. Ooh, I might be able to trade with them. Let's see if we can do that. Greetings, friend. We will speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can warm our hearts. They're already interested in the trade agreement with moderate. Let's see if we can add on a non-aggression pact. Ooh, hi. I don't even need to bribe them. Let's see if we can get this done. Excellent. You have spoken fairly. Yes. I try to speak fairly. Uh, except to those civilizations that I want their, their, you know, land and property. Then I am not so fair. Alright, so... The other navy is sitting here. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about adding to them. And they're going to be basically a... a, a Defensive Navy against any possible Syracuse aggression. I don't think we're going to have any aggression from them. I'm trying to to mend relationships, but eh, it's going to take a long time. I'd like to just leave them here. because They're small now, and I'd like to try and trade with them. Maybe I can... I will listen carefully to your words and then give judgment. So, greetings, and now, business. Don't think I want to give them that much. Actually, I will. Let's give him a gift. See if we can improve our relations. Right now it's 180. I just want to see what this does. You don't have a little Greek blood, 140? do you, by any chance? Okay, well, we might be able to increase it a little bit more. I've been giving him tiny amounts. That's the largest I've given him. So, that might work. I, I, want, to, I want that to be my border right here. So that maybe I can trade with them now. We'll see. Or at least not have them come into my my newly acquired territory and start poking around. All right, let's look. I'm going to look at uh, provinces now and see what needs to be built. Okay, I think for now, I looked it over a little bit. I think for now, uh, fish market. We have plenty of public order here in Thracia. So I'm going to go for a fish market. I was also thinking about increasing this to a civil colony, but I want to wait on that. That takes a lot of my food. I am getting more food here, though. But I have this coming as well, this other civil colony, which is going to take more food. We're going to see what that, the effects of that is first. But let's get the fish market going here. And then in Africa, we wanted the Emporion right here. It just takes three food away. We can afford that. We're, we're getting more food here. Let's see how that goes. And then I think uh, Fenzania is the only other one I want to build at. And I want the shaft mine. We have, we have. let's see, the shaft mine, minus four public order. That's So that's minus two here. And then I wanted the Grove of Nymphs. We're going to get public order here anyway. So let's... Let's get the shaft mine, and this increases public order, which this takes away. So we're going to be good. There we go. I think that's all we're going to build, and we still have 7,100. What I'm going to do, and I think also that allowed this army to com complete. Yeah, it completed. One of these was recruiting. Was it this one that was recruiting? One of them was, and now they're ready. No, I think it was this one, and now they're ready. I'm just going to start strolling into... Oh, and I wanted to stop stealing income and money and, and food. Let's have my spy start scouting around. I want to see... I just want to see... Kind of map out this area. Same with my nobles. 
Let's bring them all up. Uh, where's the road here? I can't see. Oh, I think it's over here. Okay. Move them up and then just start strolling into their territory. They're not going to like it much, but we don't care. Look at this city here. There's nothing here. I'm a little concerned. This one here. There's nothing. They have an army that's dying out in the desert. What is Egypt doing? We don't know. But their folly is going to be our... Yep. Is going to be... Uh, contribute to our success here. Yep, I'm sure they don't like us now. Let's move this one up as well. Oh, we're not in their territory yet, but we will be. They can move a little farther, but I'm not going to. We'll put them right here so we don't suffer any attrition, hopefully. No, we're looking good here. Looking good here. Let's take a look at relations real quick with Egypt. I'm sure it's not good. Yeah, now they're really hostile. They 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 were hostile before. Now they're really uh, minus fifty more. I'm sure he sees what's coming, and he's probably not happy. Oh, let's get him out of. Uh, uh, well, we'll do it next turn. We'll get him out of force march. Got to remember that. Also, there was one other thing. I've had a lot of kids come be born uh, in the last seven years. We have. Uh, from Ezekias, remember we we uh, adopted him, uh, got him a wife, and she was rather, uh, well, we had him marry the daughter of Archagoras, who was Alasius' brother, and he was quite young, but they managed to do fairly well. Rodopir, Nike, and I can't even pronounce that, but this is our new heir, Amiris, Amiris, and he is 16. Actually, we've we had him before, uh, but still, he's almost. It's been a while. Uh, it, he's almost of age, and as soon as he comes of age, we're gonna. I'm hoping to be able to put him in an army. I want him to start being able to collect gravitas so that he can get married and have kids early, so that our line can continue. So I think that's it for this turn. So let's, let's, let's in turn and see what happens. Son comes of age. Amiris, having developed his skills, this young man is now ready to serve the common good. He's been given a sword here. Perseus is ranked up to levels, rank seven. Another child, Berenice. Okay, we'll take a look. And Thea, local trade, is doing well. Let's take a look at the new child. Oh, another one! She's 49! How is she doing this? That's fine with... I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Wow. Okay. Let's see. Where do we want to start? Let's go to the event messages real quick. Faction rises. Where is this? Can't, oh, that's quite a ways away. Another one rises. That one is actually kind of close. I wonder if I can... Oops, trade with them. Doesn't look like it. How about these barbarians up north? I might be able to trade with them. Let's give this a well, try. Well, let friend. Sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement. Trade agreement is low. Them. Not military alliance. Don't want that. I want maybe non-aggression. No. How about if we give them some money? I don't want to give them like a ton of money. 2,000. Uh, they still don't want to do it. That's fine. We'll find others to trade with. These barbarians are really hard to trade with. Um, I have yet to have, a, I think, a trade agreement with them. Okay, for this turn, as far as construction, I don't think I'm going to do anything in Thracia right now. We have plus 10 public order, plus 8 food, and I want to see how these... I mean, there's no hurry. Again, we're making tons of money compared to these other provinces. 
So I can take my time with the, I don't have to be on the leading edge of making sure everything is up to date and built. I just want to make sure that I don't run out of food or my public order doesn't go uh, too low in provinces because I was too quick to build something. So we're going to proceed with not caution, but we're just going to make sure that that doesn't happen. So if that means we build a little more slowly, that's fine. Again, because we have tons of money. Africa, this is what Africa looks like. We have a few things that I want to see. I thought about maybe upgrading the cattle pins because our food is a little low, but we got the fishmonger coming in and then our technology here for the perennial irrigation is only five turns away. So I don't know if I'm going to need uh, this. I might, I might convert and dismantle this and build something else. I'm just going to wait and see. Magna Gratia, we're going to build a trading port here. We're going to upgrade this to port three. We can do that. It takes away some food, but we have a fishmonger coming. So let's go ahead and get that. Macedonia, we're not building anything here until we can upgrade these two. So we're waiting. Uh, Italia, I think the same thing here. Uh, Fanzania, we want the wine shop. I think the, the wine shop gives us more public order and wealth at the cost of a little food. But we have plenty of food. So we're going to get that. And then we're going to upgrade this, of course, as soon as this this tech is comes in. Nothing here. Plus eight public order, plus four food. I'm just going to wait and see how this goes. I could see this takes away a lot of food, but I'm going to wait. Again, a lot of it's waiting until the, the irrigation is complete. Libya, I'm going to up upgrade all of these. Um, we have plenty of public order and food. This gives us more food. This gives us more public order. And this just gives us, well, it takes away food, but it, it gives us more public order, growth, uh, wealth. So we're going to take that, the civil colony, upgrade that. And then we're probably going to need... I might wait on this a little bit because I'm not sure which way I want to go with this. You know, do I want the the <clears throat> mostly public order? What do I want here? I'm going to wait and see how these... Uh, what happens here. This is going to take away actually food, but that's going to give food. This is going to take... I think take four food. This gives three food. So that's almost a wash. We'll see. I I have uh, some other mm, provinces that I need to look at first. So that's it for spending money. We still have 8,000. Our income is 14,000 a turn. Ridiculous. Let's have the spy take a look at what's over here. Memphis. Now, this is Nabatea. Let's see. What, what does their lands look like? Can we tell here? So it looks like they control this. They probably control this down here too. And then this as well. So they're actually probably a bit more powerful than Egypt. But we're going to continue to explore. Let's uh, continue down here. I want to see what's down this way. So let's keep looking. You should have. Did you bring an extra pair? Perhaps. Let's bring you up. Alright, so they still have nothing here. This looks like it's going to be not even worth fighting. Oh, what is this? They have an Egyptian army here. Huh. I think what we'll do is... Well, we need to declare war first. Let's also move... Can you reach... I don't know if they can reach this settlement. Let's have them get out of Force March and move up to maybe here. And can you attack... Oh, I can't attack this turn. I'll move them up, though. Maybe I'll wait till next turn? I don't know if I want to wait till next turn. They don't have a whole lot here. I doubt they're going to do anything. So why don't we just go ahead and smash this army, take this town, this turn. Let's go ahead and declare war. Oops, wrong button. Egypt, we've had enough of you. You're hostile anyway. Say your piece like a civilized man, Outlander. 
servants of Pharaoh, lord of all, have no time for Babel. Okay, declare war. I think this army can take care of this easily, no problem. I don't even know if we're going to... I mean, this isn't worth fighting. Let's just auto-resolve this. 94%. Smashed. Let's... We don't need the wealth, so let's kill the captives. And Exekius ranks up. You... Commander. This is a walled town, though. Hmm. But it looks like... The centaurs can support them. There's only... What's in here? Oh, there are 11 units in here. Okay, this might actually be a fight. Let's move up the centaurs so that... Just to make sure that they can support. And now we get to... Let's go ahead and attack. And it looks like it's going to be a slaughter nonetheless. But I want to... I want to... See how the ballistas work. We're going to go ahead and fight this, even though it's going to be... It's not going to be much... Much to do here. Let's assault. Okay, dry weather looks good. Let's go ahead and start deployment and see where our army is coming in. I think I'm going to, well, it's paused, but I'm pretty sure they have, I think I'm going to have to back up my army because I think they have some, some ballistas or some heavy, now I can't see them right now, but I'm pretty sure they have some heavy weapons on the walls. So I think I'm going to move everybody over here. And wait till the second army comes in. See where they come in and then decide where to attack the wall. I, I'd like to attack right here, I think. But I think I want to take out the ballistas first. So I'm going to move everybody. See if I can gather them all up. General. And just stick them over here for now. Away from any possible artillery. Let's gather them. Let's make it a little bit more organized here. We'll put the archers here. Let's get the hoplites off. Let's have them drop the siege equipment and put them. I'm gonna put them all back here just for now, and then we'll we'll take a look and see what they got. Yep, that's everybody. So let's start the battle. And see, well, I have... Oh, they're coming in right here. Good, good, good. I'm going to have to move them very quickly. Let me pause. Pause and see where their artillery is. I'm pretty sure they had some. That's a scorpion. That's not a big deal. Another scorpion. I thought they had large artillery. Well, perhaps they don't. Unpause. Maybe they'll reveal it and show us. Our reinforcements have arrived! Yes, I'm aware. They're all coming in here. I'm waiting. There's my ballistas right there. I'm still not seeing them. Okay, so we'll probably move up the ballistas right about here and start hitting the wall. I think I want to hit right here. And then I'll start moving this other army up or over. But where I think our main effort is going to be here. When we have taken this place and our enemies kneel in chains before us, when their women and children beg for the mercy of slavery, then we will have done a good day's work. Now, to arms! All right, I'm done moving my troops. I have all the pikes over here. All the units that probably won't participate are over here. We have 
pikes, the all of Thessalian cavalry, the citizen cavalry. One of their artillery units were shooting at my Thessalian cavalry, and um, my Greek ballistas opened up before I really knew what was going on, and they destroyed the tower that had the the artillery on it. I believe it was a scorpion, but I'm not exactly sure. So I have the artillery here. We're going to instruct them to hit this tower. Even if we don't destroy this tower, well, at least if we don't put a hole in, in the wall here, we will destroy the tower so it won't be shooting at us. Then we can bring up the ladders and assault. I'd like to punch a hole in there, but we'll see what happens. Your orders. Let's have them go ahead and smash this tower. And see if they can put a hole in the wall. Okay, the ballistas are out of ammo, and uh, this just tells me that I need more ballistas. I only brought two, because I thought I'd have enough ammo, but no. I got the tower, but I didn't quite ha have enough to punch a hole in the wall here. But I don't think we're going to be... If we bring up the ladders, I don't think we're going to be attacked by artillery. It looks like we're clear here, so we can assault the walls here. And what do they have over here? A mob? I, actually, I think most of their fighting force was artillery. So, I'll, I'll get the ladders. We'll go get the ladders and move up. They do have another scorpion or something over here shooting at us. I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. And they have some slingers up here. I'm bringing up my archers. And these are my thorax swordsmen. I'm going to bring them up to get them ready to go. 
bring the archers up archers! and start hitting those slingers. Not the pikemen, the slingers. Okay, the hop they'll be hitting this wall here. They will hit here, here, and here. And this rush up the swordsman. We're moving up the ladders, and we're going to start our attack. It looks like our archers are already up here, and we're shooting at anything up here that moves. I'm going to get the swordsman up. Well, it looks like we already have the wall. What do they have down here? Cavalry. They have mob. Some spearmen. Pikemen. Let's get uh, some of our Thorax swordsmen up here to start killing these pricks. Okay, everything on the everything Egyptian on the wall is dead. They have mobs, cavalry, and I think that's cavalry. Left, that's about it. My Thorax swordsmen are <laughs> What have we got? We, we, we got some mob here. Let's go ahead and kill the mobs. See if I can bring down some more swordsmen to go after them.
going to bring down the Hoplites to go after the cavalry. Cavalry want to come after me, but they're afraid. Let's bring everybody. What do we have? Looks like we haven't sustained much casualties at all. Hardly any. So, and the cavalry, I think, want to stay in range of their scorpion. So, I'll bring the swords over here to guard our flanks. Double time. Ready for orders. Quick march. And then I'm going to bring in the the hoplites down here. See if I can go after those. Let's get all my infantry away from that that uh, scorpion. Bring him over here. Another battle here with pikemen going against my swordsmen. I really don't want the archers to be firing. Stop. The swordsmen, the swordsmen can take care of this. Okay, we're done here. I'm not sure where they're going. We have one sword unit that I want to bring out of the battle. I'm going to see if I can get them back up on the wall. These guys... We'll bring them back to where they were here, guarding that. Let's bring another sword unit over. To take position here. Okay, now I think we're just going to go uh, capture points. We're going to capture this one, and then this one. And I don't see any large towers or ballistas near those. The, the last one is this one here, and they have several towers near it. But we'll use that, we'll take that at the very end. We'll rush it and take it. Probably with cavalry, we'll see. Uh, well, maybe not with cavalry. I need 
I'd, I'd have to find a way to get cavalry in, which is, which would be right here, and I just don't, I don't think I want to do that. So I have those two towers and javelins there. Um, uh, let, I'm going to capture these two points first, and then we'll, then we'll think about what we're going to do with the last one. Well, we have some citizen cavalry that came in, thinking they could surprise us. Come on, get over there. I want to get the, uh, as I was organizing to move out, we're going to go ahead and kill these cavalry. Shouldn't take long. Alright, two citizen cavalry units destroyed. And it looks like we're under... Oh, we have some uh, javelin men over here. Let's get... I, I brought down a couple of archer units. Let's have them fire. Okay, I think they're gone. They attacked with several units. Two javelin, two, two slinger units, it looks like. And I think that may be the end of their ground units. 
their infantry and their ranged units. So now maybe we can try this again. We'll get my Thorax Swordsman arranged again in a column so that we can march on these, these points here. Orders. All right, at this point, we just got these two capture points. They don't mean much. They just give us a little bit of morale if we occupy them. We have to take the obelisk over here. As you can see up here, that's what we need. Other than, I think, hunting down every single army unit, which we may have done. I'm not sure. There may be some others, like over here, maybe, and then the, the go get all the ballistas. I don't really want to do that. What I've decided to do is, well, I have a couple units here, the a couple of swordsmen, some archers here. I want to bring over some hoplites and capture this, this gatehouse and then bring in some cavalry so that I can rush the obelisk quickly because there are air towers all around it. So I want to capture it as quickly as possible. We'll probably use, I think the citizen cavalry would be best for this since I believe they have the most armor. 42, yeah, they have pretty good armor. I don't want to risk my general, so we're going to bring in the citizen cavalry. So I'll position them here for when the time comes. So the uh, hoplites are going to rush over here and try and take this tower. I think... Um, the gate. Put them right here first. Get them as quickly as possible. Get them as close as possible. And then rush it. I'm, I maybe should bring over a second unit. There's another unit of Hoplites. I'll bring them down over just in case I need them. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. I didn't know there were slingers up here. Let's bring in the cavalry and go chase them down. We already got the gatehouse, so we're going to go ahead and kill the rest of these these slingers. Uh, they're probably actually going to be killed before my cavalry can get here. Again, once again, we have the gatehouse. Yep, they're done. Let's bring the cavalry in. I thought that may be the end of the battle, but it's not. I think we still have to capture the obelisk, so let's move in. There may be some other infantry or, or uh, slingers around. 
So we'll watch and be careful. Oh, there's still a few more slingers here that we're dispatching. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to storm the obelisk. I have some hoplites, some swordsmen, cavalry, archers here. I can bring these swordsmen up too. Don't think it's going to matter much. Um, let's go ahead and get the cavalry going. We're probably going to sustain some casualties, but uh, this is what we need. So let's get them up there quickly, as fast as possible. Probably bring run up the hoplites as well. And the swordsmen. Get them up here too. Not that concerned about the, the fire arrows here. It's the it's the scorpion over here. Oh, what do we have here? Some archers? Kill them! Okay, we did well, I think. I took my time on this one, because I, I was trying to avoid casualties. We only lost 261 men, and I think we wiped them completely out. We will occupy the settlement, of course. And the Thunderbolts of Zeus ranked up again. Mission successful, I didn't even know. Oh, capture any settlement? Didn't even know I had this mission. I'll take the 1250, thank you very much. And Aristocles, uh ranks up. Nice. Okay, so now we have Cyrene and we're going to do we, can we attack? I don't think we can, Commander. can we attack this turn? Commander. We could, I suppose, but we're going to wait until next turn, I think. Alright, I'm going to look around and see what else I need to do this turn and we'll probably end the turn. I do know that I need to move my ships up, I think. Yep. Let's keep exploring. Trying to find new trade partners. We already found one. Okay, I moved up the centaurs. Let's see what we want to build here. Oh, this is their capital. Excellent. I have to look at this briefly. I don't think I want... Mm, if Well, this I might turn this into a... a into a fishmonger. I do need... Well, I have some irrigation, some agriculture here. Traveler's Lodge. The Macrostoa will probably leave because it gives us some decent wealth. we got the Megapolis here already. And, you know, maybe... I could use some... Some, uh, some recruiting areas here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this. The barracks. Gives us citizen cavalry and levy pikemen. I'm probably going to upgrade that to the hoplite barracks. It's 2,000. Let's go ahead and do that. This general will give him commander. And who else was it? It was the Spears of Ares. Give him that as well. Anything else? I think that's all. So let's go ahead and uh, intern now. All right, somebody died. Noble death. The Hounds of Hades. That was... Eutychus, that's the guy in, uh, in, in, in Carthage. So we're going to need, we figured that was going to happen. We're going to need someone here, probably from the Antigonid dynasty. Got a bunch of Greek family generals. So we'll probably, he's got a bunch of good buffs here. 
plus minus 10 percent resistance to foreign occupation plus three cultural conversion plus one gravitas plus four public order he is excellent we will take him and make give him some companion cavalry all right objectives they want us to what is this research and technology in the following category management well we're we're not gonna make it there so not a big deal Eutychus has died what else is wars declared who Egypt and Sparta or no Sparta declared war in Egypt well that's not good now I have to race and take these lands before Sparta does got a few things built household expands okay the Thunderbolts of Zeus will continue marching. March. As, as far as I can march them. Haste, so we can take this next turn, and it looks like there's nothing here. Okay, I didn't notice this, or I don't know, I wasn't paying attention when I assigned the replacement for Eutychus, but it's Amiris. The, the heir to the throne is now a general. At Carthage, I kind of want to switch him out. I want to put him over here on the front line somewhere. Probably, maybe replace Pericles, or maybe even, um, maybe even this guy here, Exekius. I mean, he's he's with the Antigone Dynasty too, but and he's young also. But I'd rather have my heir over here fighting and gaining. Gaining gravitas and other, and and ranking him up, which I'll probably do, but then I need someone to replace. Uh, you, uh, Amiris. I'm, I'll figure that out in a bit. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to buy or upgrade this turn. I have a ton of money and not much to do with it. I think we're going to. There's a couple things I want. Thracia. We want a, this last civil colony. Because we have uh, plenty of food. Well, we will have plenty of food. We got the fishmonger coming and or the fish market. So that should offset this. And then in Corsica, I'm going to get the trading port here. It's going to take three food, but we have enough. And we got the fishmonger coming. So we'll go ahead and get the trading port. That was all I could find to buy. Of course, I could buy other things, but if they're wait I'm waiting on the effects of previous items that I've bought. Um, let's move the ships. Let's continue moving them. Continue exploring. I love it he's taken a hit recently because this guy, Pacifist, minus five loyalty perfection you are at war with. And I think we're at war with three. I believe. I'm not... I don't think that should count the... the slaves. That doesn't... Everybody's at war with them. So, um, be nice when he bites the bullet, kicks the bucket, whatever. He's 62, and then his his successor is going to be good for us. Plus five loyalty per for two turns for each enemy settlement captured. At least it'll take away the negative one. Uh, but we're not at risk yet, so I'm not too concerned. What I'm what I came here to do was was well, what I wanted to do was replace. Hounds of Hades. I want to replace uh, Amiris with someone else so I can move Amiris around. So let's go here. General. Replace him. Who do we have? I think these are all Greek families. So I get the one that... Um, I'm going to look him over and see which one would affect us the least. So we don't want this guy, I don't think. He gets plus one gravitas per turn. This guy looks okay. Plus 5% wealth from all sources in the local province. So we'll take him. It's going to cost us a little money. Hire, give him some companion cavalry. Okay. Anastasius. And then I believe it should tell us that Amiris is traveling. Yeah, he's traveling. So next turn I could use... I can have him replace someone down here. I'm not sure who yet, but we'll see. I don't know if that affected our our politics. No, it didn't. We'll have to wait until next turn. Again, I'm not too terribly concerned. Alright, let's do a battle here. 
and see how this goes. We'll attack with the Spears of Ares. We take this and it looks like it's going to be another wipeout, but... I don't know, it might be fun to fight this on the map. We'll do it real quick. Alright, dry conditions right in the middle of the desert. We'll start deployment. And this little town over here, it's just a tiny little settlement. Where's the settlement? Are, are they meeting us outside of the settlement? I don't see the settlement. It looks like it is outside of the settlement. Okay. Actually, I think my other army is was a little too far away. So we'll just go in with this army. They have slingers over here. We'll take care of them first. And then we'll... Ooh, they have some Peltasts here. Okay. Alright, let's move up the slinger... Or the archers. And the pikes. Some Peltas moving up. Bring our Hoplites up a little bit. The cavalry. I want to get the archers. Yep, going against their archers. Or their slingers. Move the Hoplites up. The cavalry. Okay, we'll probably move the archers back soon. Yeah, let's move them back. I'm gonna take my general. The men are wavering. With the 
which men are wavering? Oh, these? Thorax Swordsman. Okay. Hit the Pell Tests. I'm going to go ahead and continue and try and wipe out as many as I can, because they're all en route. Go kill those slingers. Go hit those cavalry, or camels, if I can. Let's get all of my cavalry to go against those camels. Go get them. Decisive victory, we have taken Ammonium. We lost 312, I think that was to their their uh, mercenary African element elephants, because it was mostly our pikemen. And that's about it. We're going to occupy the settlement. That's your command. And now Egypt has, well, no, they have a couple left. Oh, I'd like to take this today, but maybe I might save that for next time. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to end it here. And in the next episode, we're definitely going to finish off Egypt and then probably move in on Nabatea. That's what I expect that we'll be doing. And in the meantime, I might get some more Greek Ballista. Don't know. Although our armies are in pretty good shape. Let's orders. take a look real quick. That one's really fine. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Let's see what we have in here, though. Uh, I guess we're going to have to knock down that building. This is going to be a farming colony. Probably, We'll probably switch that out for a civil town. And then we're not going to use... Well, I can convert this. But I don't know what I want yet. We'll look at... I'll look at it in between episodes and decide... Thanks for watching this episode. I hope to see you again next time.